New York City, USA, the concrete jungle, the city that never sleeps, the Big Apple, normally a cesspool of crime, crime city. But the day is Chocolate City, International Chocolate Day, a day of peace and love. Families coming together, parades down Main Street, sweet little children, cheeks plump with chocolate seeping out the mouse, dripping onto the chins. As a private detective, I can usually put my feet up and munch into a couple of tasty treats with my daughter. But today, something didn't seem right. And it wasn't just a crazy discount at the chocolate store. So we thank you, Lord Zanush, for another great harvest. And for the crazy discounts down at the chocolate store. On the special of days when families can come together to drink and eat chocolate, and lots of it. Daddy, all this talk of chocolate's making me want to eat the chocolate. In time, Pumpkin, in time. Sorry about that, Zanush. I'll talk to you next year. Sayonara. Tell me, eat now. I haven't had chocolate in 365 days. Okay, hon, dig in. Would you like some chocolate? Yes, please. Mmm. That must be grandmother calling to send us a chocolate wishes. It was a woman. If pushed, I would have said early 30s. She had an exotic hint to her accent. If pushed, I would have said American. And if pushed, I would have said she's probably the most beautiful woman I'd ever heard. I was confused. Hello? You're not my grandmother. My husband's been murdered. Then why are you phoning today if he was murdered yesterday? But detective, he wasn't murdered yesterday. He was murdered today. Murdered? On chocolate day? I tried calling the police, but they were all at the Chocolate Day Parade. You're the only one who can help me. That's when I knew it wasn't going to be an ordinary Chocolate Day. Where are you going, Daddy? Sorry, honey. Duty calls. But it's Chocolate Day. I know it. I'll be back in time for the Chocolate Day Doctor Who episode. You keep my chocolate in the oven for me. I hopped in my car and made my way over. There was something about that voice. I couldn't put my finger on it. And I just couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't quite as it seemed. The body matched the voice. This was certainly not my grandmother. Well, you must be electromystique. <laughs> How observant. And you must be Detective Ward Slater. Well, that's what my card says. <laughs> she seemed strangely upbeat for a woman whose husband had just been murdered. Why don't you come up to my bedroom? This place is a mess. What did your husband do for a living again? He was a stockbroker on Wall Street. (laughs) 
something doesn't add up. Who'd want to kill a rich person? I mean, if it was me, I'd kill a poor person, and on a different day. Must be someone who... someone who hates chocolates. But who hates chocolate? I tried to stay on the case, but I couldn't get the dame out of my mind. Slowly my thoughts converged in the only possible culprit, the diabetics. I made my way over to the slums, disguised as one of their own. So I told them, do I look like a onesie? <laughs> yeah, you sure told me, Johnny. You did. Hey, um, do you boys know I can get some insulin around here? Who's the wise guy? He looks like a shuggy. Yeah, ask him, ask him. You a shuggy bozo? Yeah, you tell him, Joey. I'm a, I'm a diabetic like you boys. No, you ain't bozo. What, what makes you think that? You got chocolate around your mouth, sugar boy. Yeah, you tell him, Joey. Okay, kid, you got me. You got me good. What's the sweet cheeks like you doing around these parts on chocolate day? Yeah, you should be inside eating chocolate. Yeah, you tell him, Johnny. Chocolate day is on hold. There's been a murder. And I ain't leaving here until I get some information out of you boys. Yeah, you tell him, detective. We ain't telling you, squat. Yeah, you tell him, Joey. Go see Tommy Two Steps. He's always been illegal. You willing to rat out one of your boys so easily? He ain't one of our boys. He's a onesie. A onesie? I thought all you freaks were in cahoots. You know nothing, man. You don't know nothing! Easy, Johnny. Easy. Listen here, sweetheart. He's type 1 diabetes. We're diabetes mellitus type 2. It's a lifelong metabolic disorder characterized by high blood sugar, insulin resistance, and a relative lack of insulin being produced by the pancreas. Common symptoms include increased thirst, frequent urination, and I'll explain weight loss. Here, take a pamphlet. He was all up in my face, so I told him, Hey, do I look like a toozy? Huh? Uh, I gotta go, Donnie. Something's come up. Tommy Two Steps. I'm Detective Walker. Yeah, yeah, I know who you are. You're the detective that solved the Kowalski case. Sit. Have a Diet Coke. Pretty strange behavior for a diabetic. <laughs> nah, I'm a onesie. See, I'm allowed sugar in moderation. Advances in medical science says that sugar is okay for special occasions, but not for those toosies. No self control. <laughs> Here. Take a pamphlet. Thanks. So, what are you doing here? Word around town is that you might know something about the murder of Mr. Mystique. What are you suggesting, detective? One body, two bullets, no witnesses. There's a, a case out there and it needs crack. Well, I may know something about that. I'll tell you what, detective. I'll make you a deal. I'll uh, tell you what I know. And you forget about our involvement. We, uh... <laughs> 
wouldn't want anything happening to your daughter now, would we? Deal. A couple days back, someone came in and hired one of our best hitmen, Frankie Two Bullets. He makes his hits with two bullets. Describe it. Well, uh, uh, we were wearing uh, a dressing gown. Uh, they had gold earrings, long legs. I mean, legs that went all the way down. Red lipstick. Well, I'll be damned. Is this her? Yeah, that's the broad. I couldn't believe it. This whole time the dame had me going in circles. I took off down Main Street on foot. When I've got to be somewhere quick, my car's only going to slow me down. Electra, is that you? The jig's up, Mystique. I know it was you that hired Frankie two bullets. Why'd you do it, though? I did it all for you, Walt. Ever since I first saw your face in the paper after the Kowalski case, I couldn't get you out of my head. I had to meet you, and the only way I could make that happen was by murdering my husband. He was a prick anyway. But he, he, he was rich. I've taken all his money, and I'm getting on the next train to Baghdad. Two hours' time. New York City train station. Come with me. It's now or never, Walt. Well, if it's now or never, I guess it'll have to be never. I ain't leaving here. Not on chocolate day. Bye, Electra. She was the love of my life. Maybe another day I would have said yes. My daughter could have survived without me. About time she got her own place. Scrounger. Tomorrow when the chocolate melts and the city goes back to normal, my day off. But who knows? Crime never sleeps in this city. Not even on chocolate day. <laughs>